Do a few days ago, Chinese AVV manufacturer BY D became the most popular EV manufacturer. In the world, this will surely mean both Europeans and Americans will start buying Chinese-made cars that could compromise Western dominance of the car industry. This is what the Western nations are saddled with at this moment. Because of this reality, Europeans started with investigating China EV, so they can place ban on them. Then they also started placing huge tariffs on the Chinese-made EVs, followed now with the Biden American administration. Draw in a bid to stop the growth of China. Will the West succeed in the EV EV war? Will the Western companies ever gain prominence in the EV sector? Or only China-made cars will gain the power in this new multipolar world? Stay with us till the end to find out. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. Viewers on subscribe. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Do an offer to bolster American electric vehicle EV off, manufacturing and curb the importation of Chinese-made EVs. The Biden administration is contemplating a significant increase in tariffs on these imports. This move, as reported by the Wall Street Journal, aligns with the administration's broader strategy to strengthen the domestic automotive industry and reduce reliance on foreign-made vehicles, particularly from China. This prospective tariff hike is not unprecedented. It echoes a similar increase implemented in 2018 under former President Donald Trump, who raised the rate from 2.5 to 27.5, moreover in a more assertive step. The current administration has barred foreign-made EVS from receiving tax incentives in the U.S., a move indicative of its commitment to promoting domestic manufacturing. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot, recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Further tightening the reins, President Joe Biden has introduced regulations that prevent U.S. car manufacturers from accessing certain incentives if their EVOS utilize Chinese-sourced parts or raw materials. This policy underscores the administration's intention to decouple the American EV industry from Chinese supply chains and reinforce domestic production capabilities. John Podesta, a senior advisor to President Biden on clean energy innovation, articulated this strategy. President Biden entered office determined to reverse the decades-long trend of letting jobs and factories go overseas to China. We're helping ensure that the electric vehicle future will be made in America. This strategic shift comes amid a significant increase in Chinese vehicle exports, particularly to European markets. Predictions suggest a 25 jump in Chinese vehicle exports by 2024, posing a considerable challenge to European car makers. The European Commission, under the leadership of President Ursula von der Leyen, has raised concerns about the impact of these imports, emphasizing the distortion caused in the market by Chinese state subsidies keeping EV prices artificially low. For the U.S., the perception of Chinese electric cars as a competitive threat is strong, especially given the substantial price difference between American and Chinese EVs. This price disparity is largely attributed to China's dominant position in the global EV supply chain bolstered by approximately $130 billion in state subsidies since 2016. Responding to these developments, a bipartisan group of U.S. lawmakers urged the Biden administration in November to increase tariffs on Chinese automobile imports. Their letter to the Office of the United States Trade Representative highlighted the necessity of such measures to counter the anticipated surge of Chinese EV imports, which they argue could detrimentally impact the American automotive industry and its workforce. The lawmakers also requested an investigation into the potential harm posed by Chinese vehicles to the U.S. auto sector and sought strategies to prevent China from circumventing these tariffs through vehicle imports via Mexico. Notably, three major Chinese EV fee companies are planning new factories in Mexico, targeting the American market. President Biden, commenting on China's manufacturing capabilities, stated China has a bigger manufacturing scale than all other countries. And they're using that scale to make these batteries not just in China, but they're making them in Germany, Vlaxo and in Mexico, and now exporting those electric vehicles around the world with sights on the American market, and they think they're going to win. This complex geopolitical and economic landscape presents a significant challenge for the Biden administration as it navigates the intersection of international trade, domestic manufacturing, and the burgeoning global EV market. The administration's decisions in the coming months will not only shape the U.S. automotive industry, but also potentially influence global trade dynamics and the future of clean energy transportation. 
If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. The Biden administration's approach to managing the influx of Chinese-made electric vehicles VES resonates with a broader strategy of bolstering domestic industries while addressing the complexities of international trade relations. This move is more than a simple adjustment of import tariffs. It represents a strategic pivot towards reinforcing the United States' autonomy in critical industrial sectors, particularly in the rapidly evolving ED market. The decision to increase tariffs on Chinese made DFs is a part of a multifaceted approach to reinvigorate the American automotive industry. This strategy includes encouraging domestic production, reducing dependency on foreign supply chains, and fostering innovation within the U.S. This holistic approach aims to create a robust and self-sufficient industrial base that can compete on the global stage. One of the critical aspects of this policy is the focus on the supply chain. The global EV market is heavily reliant on specific raw materials such as lithium and cobalt, essential for battery production. China's dominance in these sectors poses a significant challenge for the U.S., which seeks to reduce its dependence on Chinese imports for these critical components. By promoting domestic mining and processing of these materials, the U.S. aims to secure its supply chain and reduce vulnerabilities. The administration's stance also reflects broader geopolitical considerations. The U.S.-China relationship has been characterized by a complex interplay of cooperation and competition. The shift in policy regarding Chinese-made EVA underscores a growing concern in Washington about China's technological advancements and its expanding influence in key global industries. By increasing tariffs and incentivizing domestic production, the U.S. is signaling a more assertive posture in this competitive landscape. Additionally, the Biden administration's measures align with its environmental goals. By promoting the adoption of EVs and supporting the domestic EV industry, the administration aims to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change. However, ensuring that this transition supports American jobs and industries is a balancing act that requires careful policy crafting. The move to increase tariffs has, however, sparked debate among economists and industry experts. Some argue that tariffs could lead to retaliatory measures from China, potentially igniting a trade war that could have broader implications for the global economy. Mothers contend that the move is necessary to protect American industries and workers from unfair competition due to state-subsidized pricing in China. Within the U.S., reactions to the proposed tariff hike have been mixed. While some industry stakeholders applaud the administration's efforts to protect domestic manufacturing, Others are concerned about the potential for increased costs for American consumers. The price of EVARs, which is already a barrier to widespread adoption, could rise as a result of higher tariffs, potentially slowing the transition to cleaner transportation options. Looking ahead, the Biden administration faces the challenge of navigating these complex economic, environmental, and geopolitical dynamics. The decisions made in this arena will have far-reaching implications, not just for the U.S., the automotive industry, but for the global shift towards sustainable transportation. As the world increasingly looks towards electric vehicles as a solution to environmental challenges, the policies set by major players like the U.S. will significantly shape the future of this critical industry. The Biden administration's contemplation of increased tariffs on Chinese-made EVS is a strategic move aimed at strengthening the U.S automotive industry and securing the nation's position in the global EV market. This policy reflects a broader effort to revitalize American manufacturing, reduce dependency on foreign supply chains, and address the challenges of climate change. As this situation evolves, it will continue to have significant implications for international trade, economic policy, and the global transition to sustainable transportation solutions. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.